friends, welcome back. So today I am going to IMATS, which is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. And it's out in Pasadena, so it's about like 45 minutes from me. Um, but tonight is pro night, so they have like three days that they do um, the trade show. And their Friday night session is pro night, so it's only professionals that get in. It's not open to the public. And I've never been on pro night because I've always been working or, or I've been too busy to go. So I've always only gone on like their open to the public days. So I'm super excited to go and see what pro night is all about. I'm gonna be meeting some friends there and I might do a little bit of shopping. I don't have really anything in particular that I want to pick up, but I will definitely check out what all the different brands that are there have to offer and hopefully I can um, take some videos and pictures and give you guys a little vlog of this because that would be super fun. Because I know IMATS isn't around all over the place and it's not, I mean it's well known, but it's not like, I feel like there's a lot of people that don't know about it. So it would be kind of fun to show you what IMATS is all about and my experience with it. So um, I'm going to head there now and I will see you guys there. any brand that you can think of it's really awesome here like they have so many things to look at um, there's one of my favorite companies Hakuhodo they make amazing brushes um, anyway so I'm gonna go look around real quick and find my friends and I'll be back I told you no sealer needed no fixer needed once it's set it sticks like crazy I was gonna say something else then <laughs> but I'm not gonna say it but once it is I found my friend Nikki. This hey! Is her. Um, you can find her at what's your Instagram name? Nikki and I K K I dot Martinez dot M U A. She's awesome. She is obsessed with Green Day like I am, and um, she dressed up as Billy Joe for Halloween, and he shared her picture. So it was, it was pretty <laughs> intense, and I definitely teared up a bit. Yeah, it was really awesome. <laughs> um, but we did a little bit of shopping and probably spent too much money and uh, now we're just gonna keep browsing around yeah. until like, we decide to leave. So. Avoiding eye contact because I just got lured yeah. in. I was done and then they're like, look at this brush. Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy it. Yeah, it's super easy to just like, say you're not gonna buy anything and then suddenly you just have a whole bag full of things. You gotta make a list and even when you make the list, you will break it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's totally true. Um, yeah, okay, so we're gonna walk around and look at some stuff and See, Nikki bought some stuff. Check out her pants. Check out her shoes. You guys, look at it's those things. They in 2001. Like it looks like she's wearing latex, but that is all pink, friends. That is so awesome. It seems like it's not too busy, which is great because um, normally, normally when uh, oh Nikki just got pulled over. Um, normally when I come to IMAX, it's so packed. Look at that! Wow. Um, I got distracted by something sparkly. Isn't that just that always happens? I always get distracted by something sparkly. Oh wow, look at these over here. Santa Baby, that's my favorite. I want to be Santa's 
so awesome, Nikki. Ooh, are you filming this? Yeah. So awesome. Air dries in 60 to 90. I'm just going to shoot it with Oh, that feels so good. I'm sweating. <laughs> Got a little loose slash right there. Oh, 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 good. Okay, open your eyes. Yeah, girl, close your eyes. That looks so awesome. So we're here at Eye Candy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, have fun. We're we're just we're just vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> right now they are mixing. Their own glitter shade. Just to do. Her. I just want to do something cool, but I'm trying I know, like... to match my hair. Would you let me do your brows? Oh, I was literally just. Can I do that? that. Oh, <laughs> serious? Yeah. You rock. Okay. I was literally just thinking I... brows would be awesome. Just. <laughs> up now it's um it's seven o'clock which means that pro night is over um i saw some friends that i haven't seen in a while and um bought a few things which like i said i'll put in a haul after this ends um once i get home and um it's been so fun it was a lot smaller this year than it normally is like some of the big brands weren't here like they normally are but the brands that i wanted to see were here so that is all good so i picked up a few things that i wanted some of it's being shipped to me because it's from um canada and it didn't cross the border in time for imax so um hopefully i'll be getting those in time um to add to this video before i post it um but thank you um i thought you said you were leaving when we were just talking to my friends I am. Um, this is me leaving. <laughs> well, I guess we're leaving at the same time, so. I don't know how you caught up with me. That was really weird. Um, well, they decided to leave right after you ended the conversation. Trend and then center. and then I was like, well, I guess I'll go. And so now I'm going. Go. Well, <laughs> until next year. I know, right? Pro night was definitely way more fun than regular public entry days because... 
then you're not surrounded by like thousands of people. Right All right, I'll bye, see you later. Bye YouTube. <laughs> bye. bye <laughs> so um, yeah, Pro Night was super fun and um, I definitely want to come again next year instead of going on the like public entry days. It was just really a great experience and um, I will see you guys soon to show you what I got. So it's been a couple days now since I went to IMATS and I was just waiting on a company that I bought from to send out the product because it didn't make it to IMATS. So now I have everything and I'm ready to show you what I got at IMATS. So this is the big old bag that I filled up. I purchased something at Nigel, so they gave me this big bag, so I just put everything on in here. So I'm going to start off with the um, the brushes that I was waiting on to come from Canada. So these are by Smith Cosmetics, and I've heard so many good things about their brushes, and when I went there, I got to talk to them, and they were such like a great company and so kind. So I only bought a few because I wanted to test them out and see if I liked them before purchasing a bunch more to fill up my kit, but I'm super excited to try these out. So here's the little um, container that they came in. And so the first brush that I got is the Smith 220. And um, the cool thing about these brushes are that the handles are made out of like an antibacterial um, coating. And so when you're using them and say you have to just like dip into a product real quick, you can like dip in with the end of this brush and it's not going to add bacteria into the product. And then you can just wipe it off with like a, um, you know what, an alcohol wipe or something. So I thought that was really cool and I've never had a brush like that before. So when they were explaining it to me, I was like, whoa, awesome. <laughs> so uh, anyways, this is the Smith 220 and it's just like a flat shader brush. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't have any brushes that are like this actually. And I picked up two of them because I wanted to try one for myself and then I wanted one in my kit as well. And so this is synthetic mongoose hair, they said. So it's not real animal hair. Um, it's super soft and um, they said it's great for like blending eyeshadow out really quick like if you mess up you can just blend it away or if you wanted to apply like a cream shadow for like a quick smoky eye um, and so I'm super excited to try this one out it's really really soft I'm 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 excited to just like rub this all over my eye area <laughs> so like I said I got two of those and then the next brush that I got is the Smith 214, same antibacterial uh, handle, and then it's just like a spoolie brush. It's just plastic bristles, and um, I like how it's so long. So um, this brush is great for you know brushing up your eyebrows, brushing through mascara for your eyelashes. You can use it to brush your mustache or your beard on talent, or you can use it um, to brush away like flyaways too. You just put like a little hairspray on this and then just lay down any flyaways. Um, so I'm super excited to use this. I bought two of them and one I wanted to try out for me for my eyebrows and then I also got another one for my kit. Um, I have already like two or three spoolie brushes but I don't have any that are this long and like bent. I really like that because it's like it's such a cool shape. So I'm excited to try these. And then the last brush that I got from Smith, like I said, I only got a few. Um, this is the 253. It's just like a small little pointed shader brush. And I believe this is called like their arrowhead, their small arrowhead. They also have one that's slightly larger than this, but they said it's good for, you know, like laying down color on like smaller eyelids or blending out something on the bottom or, you know, applying your inner corner highlight, anything like that. Um, now this one is made out of natural hair, it's, um, it's horse hair, and so it is a little bit more, it's soft, but then at the very tip it seems like a little bit more pokey, um, but the rest of it seems pretty soft. So I'm interested to try this out because I'm a very like feelsy person, if it's, if it's too like rough or pokey then I'm like, no. But so far this one feels alright, it, it doesn't feel too pokey, so I'm interested to try this out. I've heard so many great things about Smith from um, all my pro friends, and so I definitely am glad that I picked a few brushes up because I wanted to try them out for myself and see what the hype was all about. So I'm super excited about those. So the next thing that I got is um, something from Haku Hodo. Um, they make amazing brushes as well and they are handmade in Japan and they make either synthetic brushes or natural hair brushes. So this one that I picked up is a natural hair brush and this one, look how beautiful it is, it's just like so beautiful. This one's called the J116 and this one is made out of goat hair and it's just like so silky soft. 
Um, this would be a great brush for you know either applying foundation with or you can apply um, blush or like even highlighter this would be a great brush for that it's just so soft I wish you had like feel vision so that you could feel this because it's just like it's so silky um, so I'm really excited to use this and I just want to like rub it all over my face all day I think that would just be so fun <laughs> So the next thing that I picked up is from Nigel's and it is their Monda Studio brush cleaner. I bought this big one and then they gave me a little one for free. So this is a quick brush cleaner. Basically it is made out of like alcohol and like smelly fragrances and it smells like, like lemony fresh clean, that kind of stuff. Um, so basically I just use this for when I clean my brushes quickly on set. So sometimes when I'm on set, I don't have time to go and use my brush shampoo and, you know, wash them and rinse them and let them dry. So this is just something that you use really quickly. You dip your brush in and then just wipe it on a towel until it's dry, which is usually within like 30 seconds to a minute. And, um, I mean, I personally hate all quick brush cleaners. Like there's that Cinema Secrets one. I mean, it's good for cleaning quickly and it sanitizes stuff, but the smells of all of these quick brush cleaners are just like too much for my nose to handle. They're just like super overpowering and I'm sure it's a not, so it doesn't smell like alcohol, but I can smell that, which is like why I don't drink because I don't like the smell of alcohol. They're great for quickly cleaning your brush, but I wouldn't recommend them uh, for doing your personal brushes only because it's just like, it's very drying on the brush hair. So I use them really quickly, but then as soon as I get home after a shoot, I wash all of my brushes and make sure that they're clean and sanitized and back to being their soft, like, conditioned selves. I use a actual brush shampoo, or you can use even, like, pure Castile soap. Um, but this is just good for on set, you know, when I have to clean something quickly because I have, like, 10 more talent and I don't have, like, 700 brushes to use on all of them. So I just use something like this just to quickly clean them. Um, it smells fine like I said it's like a lemony smell and people always are like wow your your makeup smells so clean I appreciate that because I like when things smell clean but sometimes when I'm cleaning my brushes I just have to like lean back and like not even be near it because the smell is just like too overpowering uh, so I wish that there was a quick brush cleaner that just didn't have any smell that would be great this is the closest that I can find to not being too smelly <laughs> Now the last things that I picked up were from Hourglass. See, here's their like new little logo. Um, I actually didn't know that Hourglass was gonna be there, so when I saw their like massive booth, I was like, yes. So the first things that I grabbed when I was there um, were the caution mascaras. I got two of them, one for me and then one for my mom. <laughs> because we're both so obsessed with this mascara. Like I have been out of mine now for a while and so I've been using just like other miscellaneous mascaras that I have. And it's just not the same. This hourglass one is so good. So I had to pick up both of those. And then the next thing I got is this um, hourglass vanish flash highlighting stick. And this is in gold flash. Um, so this is just like supposed to be creamy like their vanish foundation sticks are. Um, here's the packaging. It's super cool. Um, I like the like silver. Um, so the shade is really pretty. It's just like this really light pale gold. Um, I'm gonna put it on my hand for you to see. So here is the color at the bottom of my hand here. It's just like a really pretty gold. But then when you blend it out, it's like a beautiful highlight color. Um, it has like a tiny bit of sparkle to it. Um, so it's like a really pretty sheen. And I'm really glad that I got that. It's gonna be really beautiful. But it's like such a huge product. I wanna like cut it in half so that I can have some and then put the other half in my kit. So the next product from Hourglass that I picked up was the um, number 28 lip treatment oil. It says it's hydrating, anti-aging, an advanced anti-aging treatment for lips that combines essential oils, vitamins, and three powerful active ingredients in a hydrating oil blend. So this is pretty cool. Um, I'm all about using like lip, lip balms and like hydrating lip oils. This is what it looks like. Um, kind of looks like a lighter, which is pretty funny. So it has like this little push top and you push it down and then you like get the product out and then it comes out of the little top and then you massage it onto your lips to um, to like bring the circulation to them and then it helps to plump as well. So I'm going to put this on my hand just so you can see it. It's super, um, super slick. It's not sticky which is good because I don't like sticky feeling on my lips but it's um, 
it sort of smells like essential oils. Like there isn't a specific oil that it smells like, but it smells good. So I'm excited to try this out and see how hydrating it is for my lips. The next two things that I picked up at Hourglass were their Girl Lip Stylo lip, um, lipsticks. And I got the shade Creator and Activist. Now they had a deal because already you get discounts at all these places if you're a professional, but then they also had a deal that was two lipsticks for 20 bucks, which I don't know what the actual price of the lipsticks are in general, but um, I wanted to pick a couple up because I really wanted some like more pinky tone lipsticks. Um, so this one is the shade Activist. It's like a really interesting tube too. And if they look used, it's because I already like tested them on my hand when I bought them. So that's why they look a little bit crazy right now. But this is the shade here. It's really pretty shade Activist. And I'm gonna put it on my hand. So it's like a really creamy, beautiful pink color. It's sort of like a rose tone. Um, I really like it. It's It seems really hydrating. It's not matte. It's sort of like it has a sheen to it. It's sort of glossy almost. So I'm excited to use that one. And then the other shade was Creator, which is this one right here. It's really pretty too. It's similar in tone to the last one, but um, it's a little bit lighter. There is Creator on top right there. Um, it's really pretty, like I said, it's very creamy and it seems like it's a very hydrating lipstick rather than being matte and drying. Um, but I'm really excited to use both of those lipsticks. And the last thing I got from Hourglass was the Ambient Light Correcting Primer. This was actually a gift with purchase. They had like three primers that you could choose from and if you bought anything from Hourglass, they gave a free primer. Um, now I don't really use primers ever, um, so I'm interested to try this out and then possibly add it to my kit because I just never use primers on myself. Um, but let me show it to you. This is what it looks like right here. It's sort of just like a skin tone nudie color. Um, it feels really soft and I'm trying to like blend it out. I put, I put way too much on my hand. Um, Okay, so I have to use my other finger now and try to blend it out more. Okay, so I blended it all there. It really actually made like a really beautiful base. Um, it sort of it sort of just looks like my skin tone. There's like a tiny, maybe teeny tiny bit of like sheen or shimmer to it, but nothing crazy. Like there's not glitter chunks in there or anything like that. So um, it's really nice looking. It feels really smooth. I believe it has silicone in it so that if you apply like a silicone based foundation on top, it's just going to like have like the right amount of slip to get all over your face. So um, it seems really nice. It's very smooth feeling. So um, I'm interested to try that and see how that works. All right, so that is the end of my IMATS haul. I didn't really pick up a ton of stuff because I didn't really need anything right now. And I actually want to spend more of my money on other like green beauty products to try out so um, I tried to like save my money and only buy like what I really wanted so I did pick up those few things and um, I'm glad that I did I'm interested to try out those other new products from Hourglass because I haven't tried any of those before and then I'm definitely interested in trying out all of those Smith brushes and that Happy Hodo brush oh I just want to rub it on my face <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I'm happy about the purchases that I made and um, it was a really fun time at IMATS this year. I'm glad I went on the pro night though because it was like not busy at all and there was like plenty of room to walk around and breathe and not be like pushed out of the way for, you know, uh, whatever other brands they have there. <laughs> like I said in the clips earlier, it seemed like there were less big brands there, like I noticed that. Anastasia wasn't there this year and, and normally they are um, and then like the Jeffree Star makeup, Kat Von D, Morphe, those brands weren't there and they're normally there as well. Um, so I'm surprised that they weren't there but I'm sure it's a huge cost to set up a booth and like have all that, you know, bring all that supply to the show. Um, so anyways, it was fun. I had a good time. It was nice to go and see my friends, um, Melissa Street. I love her. She's so amazing. And I got to see my friend Nikki and she, um, I'm actually going to be working with her this weekend. So it'll be fun. Um, 
Maybe I'll post some stuff on my Instagram, which is at Klovin. Go follow me. Um, but maybe I'll put some stuff on my Instagram there. That might be fun. Um, so yeah, it, it was a good time. It was really interesting walking around, seeing all those like crazy body paints and uh, like there was that one in one of the clips that was like a mermaid in a um, in a wheelbarrow with a guy like blowing bubbles. That was a sight to be seen. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really had a good time making it. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you liked it. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications button, and it'll let you know every time I upload a new video, which is hopefully gonna be every week, one video a week. I'm gonna try to do that. Might do two if I get like cool things going on, but hopefully one a week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you have a great day, whatever day it is that you're watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.